All right, moving on. Dorothy has birthday. Yes, have a tea party. Um, what kind of tea does she like? Where are you, Dorothea? Sweet apple or Albanian berry? Let's go with Albanian berry. <laughs> Isn't it nice taking a moment to relax? You're very thoughtful, Professor. So much better than those nobles around here. Maybe you're not talking to the right nobles, Dorothea. Why, thank you so much. Uh, gifts you'd like to receive. She's pretty predictable with her topics. Um, you're doing great work. And cute mums. Let's go. More nobles than you'd expect make a pilgrimage to Garrig Mock to pray. A lovely cup of tea. There we go. Thank you, Professor. Please call me again. We should actually be able to recruit her in the next chapter, I think. Because we will probably get to a C in authority after this battle. Now, the important thing for this next battle is that we will not have access to Dimitri. So, we are going to give by left the chalice of beginnings so she can take care of the right side of the map while everybody else goes around the left side of the map it's going to be very important um because we're going to try to get as much stuff as possible i'm also going to give her the killer lance plus although no she can't actually use that yet Ew. okay um in that case who do we give your stuff we're gonna give it to Sylvain. Um, because Sylvain has more strength than Ingrid, so he gets to kill the Death Knight. Um, let's see, in terms of abilities, everybody good? Oh, he has Lance Breaker now. Nice. So, a lot of people say that they weapon triangle is not a thing in fire emblem three houses it is just not in the way that you would expect it so in the old um fire emblem games and in the um and also in engage uh if you use for example a lance against an axe it's going to be a lot weaker um if you use a lance against a sword on the other hand you're going to be a lot stronger so this is the weapon triangle of lance axe and sword um each one has one that it is weak against and one that it is strong against. And in three houses, these still exist in the form of the breaker abilities. So Lance Breaker, for example, um, you can only be learned if you have a B in Axis. And it makes you able to dodge. Um, it gives you extra avoid, avoid and extra hit against um, Lance users. So on normal and hard, these skills are not as important. But when you get to maddening, you really need those. And you really feel it because maddening has so many lance users, so many paladins and falcon knights and pegasus knights. If you try to go up against them with a sword, you are going to die. So you really need to pay attention to the stuff on maddening. Um, dexterity plus four. I'm going to give you that gladly. Um... Lance prowess, will prowess, we don't need all of that. Okay, combat arts. Combat arts, we need to make sure that we have Knight Kneeler on the people who actually need it. Um, can trade this. Uh, whoops. Dead eye, please. Thank you. Gonna take Monster Piercer. Perfect. Everybody has a battalion, which is good. And we're going to... Now we actually need to buy some keys. Because we're going to need at least two keys for Byleth. So. Um, 
And I think we will get enough door keys, but just in case we're going to give her two door keys. Because I know the next map has a lot of doors. Um, replenish everyone but Dimitri, thank you. And we're going to watch the Blue Lion supports, just so that when these guys get more supports in battle, uh, they will actually be able to gain support points. Thank you for sparring with me, your highness. It seems despite how hard I've worked, I'm still no match for you. Oh, there's no need for such humility. Thanks to all of your hard work, you're improving rapidly. If you're going to praise me, it should at least be after I've won a match against you. You know, Ingrid, I may be the victor when we cross spears on foot like this. But on horseback, your handling of a lance is far superior. Can't I be allowed to have my own area of expertise? No, I cannot allow that. It's my duty to get stronger, to fight with all I have in defense of the kingdom and its people. Such high stakes. <laughs> By the way, where did you learn that fierce jab of yours? I'm pretty sure the only other person I've seen perform that move is Glenn. So you recognized it? Yes, he shared much with me. I thought as much. I never imagined I would be on the receiving end of one of his techniques again. Glenn and I once studied under the same instructor. I've sparred with him more times than I can count. Ah, uh, yes. He was never short on praise for you. Lord Dimitri is incredible. Such skill. There's no way I'll ever outmatch him. Things of that sort. Well, now. He never said any of that to me. Well, he was Felix's brother. That family's not big on displays of affection. That is true. We spent about as much time arguing as we did training. I can't believe it's been four years since the tragedy of Duska. Since we lost Glenn, along with so many others. So it has. Time moves quickly. Things have changed so much. Despite the sorrow, I intend to become a powerful knight. A knight like yourself. And like Glenn. I will do so for the sake of my homeland, the holy kingdom of Fargus, and for all who have died protecting it. To that end, I hope you will spar with me again in the future, your highness. It would be my pleasure. After all, I value our training sessions as much as you do. Aww. Oh, nice, nice. We get more Felix and Annette. More Netflix or Felony. Whatever uh, ship acronym you prefer. Hello, Felix. So, uh, it was your turn to clean out the greenhouse, right? Yes. Well, I went ahead and took care of it. I also cleaned up the warehouse. Why? I just wanted to help you out. So that... Okay, fine. I'm bribing you. So you'll forget. Forget what? Are you really gonna make me say it? Yeah, so there's two ship names in the fandom for this ship. The first is Felony, and the other one is Netflix. And both are awesome. Before, in the greenhouse, I want you to forget what you saw and heard. If you agree to forget about it, I'll take your shift in the stakes. Do we have a deal? No, thanks. <laughs> no? Th that's not okay! You have to forget about it, right this moment! I can't. It's permanently etched in my memory. I love this bee support so much. <laughs> A mountain of sweets, as well as steaks and cakes. Stacks of them, apparently. I'm also intrigued by those bear and swamp beastie songs you mentioned. Ah, and I've been meaning to ask about the move that went along with Crummies and Yums. Was that fencing footwork? Oh, stop it, Felix! You're a villain! Me? You think you're so funny? Keeping a straight face while mocking my singing and dancing? Well, you have to forget about it! Please! What if I make you a nice steak dinner? You like steak, don't you, Felix? It'll be yummy! You'll probably blow up the kitchen, Annette. This isn't about steak. I just... Fine! Be stubborn! Tell the whole world for all I care! I'll just learn to live with the funny looks I'll get from everyone! They'll all say, there goes that Annette! The girl with the funny ideas about food! You're just the evilest of villains, Felix! I'll hate you forever and ever! <laughs> huh. I'm just trying to be nice. 
nice. Poor Felix. Funny ideas about food. Even the boys in her head are ridiculous. I really don't understand that girl. Poor Felix. He is so confused. And he is actually being very nice to her. Like, his supports with Annette is probably the nicest he ever is with anybody. And she is just like, why? <laughs> I've been looking everywhere for you. What's going on? Something urgent? Oh, no. <laughs> but I promised to tell you the rest of the Luna Knight's tale, remember? Huh. I've forgotten all about that. If you really want to tell the story that badly, I guess just go ahead. Okay, I will. Do you remember where I left off? Hmm. Well, you were telling me something about how the Luna Knight was hard on liars and cheaters. Right. So her husband, Duke Regan, turns out to be a bit of a libertine. <laughs> That's hilarious. My favorite part was when she caught her husband in the act and tossed him out the window. I thought tales about knights were supposed to be straight-laced, but this one's raunchy as heck. I'm uh, glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Usually these tales are pretty serious. But sometimes in a serious story, you need lighter moments like that to connect to the characters. It helps to see that even these great heroes made mistakes now and again. Just like us. You're so trusting, Freckles. For some reason, I find it endearing. But you shouldn't take something at face value just because it's written down. The truth is, knights do plenty of things that aren't heroic at all. Things that hurt people. You're not wrong. Some knights do terrible things. That doesn't make the Great Ones any less worthy of honor, though. What about knights who have died taking a stand against the Church? Would you call them great? That's... complicated. Or what about the knights who put me in abyss, promising to release me from my curse? When they couldn't, they left me there out of fear for what I might do. Does that sound honorable to you? Happy... I'm so sorry. <sighs> sorry. I can't help but say nasty things. Got any more stories for me? Maybe another racy one? Uh, yes, actually. I came prepared with the most... Uh, racy ones I could find. In case you happen to ask. Of course you did. Let's hear one then. I love these two together. Oh man. Ash and Happy. Not the pairing that I would ever expect to, to like, but um, I really like those two together. Apologies for my late arrival, Mercedes. My duties ran long, as per usual. There's no need to apologize at all. Please, have a seat. We've met Petit so many times, but you never seem to get used to it, do you, Ingrid? Not entirely, no. I'm not accustomed to being treated so... delicately. Anyway, what will we talk about today? I actually wanted to gripe about something that's been bothering me. You? Gripe? Now that's unusual. I'm happy to listen, of course. It's the least I can do after all the kindness you've shown me. Thank you. The one thing I really wanted to talk about is marriage. Oh? Yes. I received a letter from my adoptive father about marriage discussions with a noble family. And will you accept? That's the problem. No matter what I decide, I'll probably be married off anyway. What I really want to do is help those in need. But I think it would be more difficult to do so if I married a nobleman. Understandably so. Sounds to me like you need a strategy to silence your father. <laughs> Ingrid is a part of the murder is okay meme. <laughs> Don't you agree? It seems the best course of action would be to consider severing all ties with the family and running away. <laughs> we don't need to go that far. I'm sorry, I really just needed to let that out. I don't need you to worry about solving my problems. Oh, okay. It's just a bit personal for me, actually. My own father has brought countless marriage proposals to my attention. He always was obsessed with me carrying on the family bloodline. 
At a very young age, my hand had already been promised to someone in marriage. But Gwen died young. That must have been difficult for you. Would you have married him if he had survived? Hmm. That's a good question. It's hard to imagine now. Although I did admire him quite a lot, he held true to the ideals of knighthood, proudly serving the king. Even after all these years, I aspire to be the type of knight that he embodied. But that's just it. I'm not a tool for furthering my family's fortunes. I'm a knight at heart, regardless of what my father desires. I see. A very noble cause indeed. <laughs> How strange that we should be worrying about the same thing. Even though we are such different people. It's true. Enjoying a nice chat over tea with you like this makes me realize. Maybe the paths we walk aren't so different after all. Don't you think? I do. These tea parties of ours, they really are something special. That they are. Ingrid, I would love to get to know you better if that's okay. I want to know about your childhood, your favorite books, the sweets you like, anything at all. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm happy to speak with you anytime. And I want to know you better too, Mercedes. So if there is one support in this entire game where I wished that two characters who only go to B could go to A, it is Ingrid and Mercedes. I wish they had an A support where one of them realizes, hey, Mercedes, your father desperately wants you to marry into a noble family so you will have a noble title. But your father is a wealthy merchant. He's loaded, right? And Ingrid's father desperately needs money and has a daughter with a noble title and a crest which is going to tell him you marry into house uh into house galatea he's going to be super everybody's going to be super stoked everybody gets what they want and we just don't tell them that it's two girls marrying until the actual wedding i would love to see that like really <laughs> that is the one um the one um support where I really love an A support and it could be a sham marriage because Ingrid um, is she has no A supports with any female characters she is literally all guys she's the straightest member in the blue lion cast like you could even say Dimitri has um, has his paired endings with both Felix and the both of which are super gay like super gay endings the has his paired ending with Dimitri which is super gay Felix has a paired ending with Sylvain and Dimitri, which is super gay. Um, Ash has a paired ending with Cyril, which is pr pretty platonic, but at least he has the paired ending. Mercedes can be romanced by both female and male Byleth. And Mercedes and Annette also have a paired ending, which you can interpret different ways. Literally the only person in the Blue Lions who doesn't have one of those is Ingrid. And that is the only thing where I'm saying, okay, if she had this A with Mercedes, it would probably still be platonic. It would basically be a sham marriage, but I would love that. I would I would love to see that as a support. Anyway, one last one, and then we head into the battle um, for chapter six and rescue Flame. The Myrmidon. Ha! Suit yourself. My gut says the odds are in favor of that mercenary. He's clearly a seasoned fo- Open my big mouth, he goes and loses on me. <laughs> I win. Again. Had enough office. Damn you, you've won every round. The fights are rigged. Admit it, it's the only explanation. <laughs> of course they aren't. It's not like we're playing for money. We wouldn't be so foolish now, would we? <laughs> You're the one who started this silly game anyway. So out with it. You lost? Spill the beans. It has to be juicy, though. Something that leaves you a bit vulnerable. Why did I agree to these stakes? If this losing streak keeps up, you'll know an awful lot about me, pal. Let's see. Okay, got one. A few years back, I went toe to toe with a bird beast with some ancient ruins. <sighs> this one again? You obliterated the ruins, and the lord who found out put a price on your head. 
told me a thousand times before. Good story bears repeating, yeah? I haven't seen some all out of anecdotes. How about I take my shirt off and let you look your fill instead? Two full minutes. No. As if I'm interested in seeing your sweaty torso for the umpteenth time. If you're fresh out of stories, then I have a question for you. About your quest. Hit me where it hurts, why don't you? <laughs> this your idea of negotiation? Perhaps. Or perhaps I'm simply curious. Tell me, how did you come across such a rarity? To my knowledge, nobody within House Albrecht has your crest. Why well, ask what you already know? You got your own rare crest, so I'm sure you figured it out. Unless you think the goddess gave us these things while we slept. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you? Hey now, I'm the one winning the bets, so I'm the one asking the questions. Got me there. Hey look, the next round's starting. My luck's about to turn around, I can feel it. Let's do you a favor and call it good here. No need to embarrass yourself further, friend. Even if I'm terrible at this, I can't walk away during a losing streak. I have my own sort of honor. <sighs> These two. All right, Balthus. Check out those two myrmidons. The two who were eating together earlier. Huh. Who knew they were opponents? I kind of figured. Thoughts? Well, that one's pretty beefy. Quick on his feet, too. Clearly, a seasoned fighter. His opponent's okay, but a bit showy. Compensating for being newer at this would be my guess. Mm-hmm. Well, make your choice. Thank you. First guy, no doubt about it. You can see from a mile away that... He <laughs> lost! Well, that was quick. Not everything is as it appears. For example... Were you and I to go at it, perhaps you'd bet in favor of yourself over me, and you'd lose. I'd use my cunning to ensure my victory, by any means necessary. Maybe I'd slip something into your food, level the playing field. You see now? Point taken. I'll keep that in mind for this next one. Gotta put that great advice to the test, right? <laughs> Ever the bold one. It seems we must continue these games until you finally concede. I guess now we have an idea of why Balthus is constantly in debt. Alright. Done. Wait, Violet has a support with whom? Oh! All of these guys. Yeah, that can wait. That can wait a little longer. Um... We want to save here. Mission. Let's go. We get to body the Death Knight. And this time it will actually be easier because we have um, a Killer Lance Plus. We still don't know where Thane is. But we can't give up. Not until she's found. Professor! Your Highness! I just heard a scream in Professor Eureza's quarters. Eureza? Ah, the combat professor with the mask. He has always been rather suspicious. We must hurry. Isn't that... Oh, professor Manuela! Professor Manuela! Please wake up! Professor Manuela! Yeah, so apparently it's been 30 days in between her finding out that something is wrong with Eureza and her actually going for it. This is what happens when you have gameplay and story segregation and you spend an entire month exploring and having teas and having meals and shit. She's still breathing, but she needs medical attention immediately. Look, do you see Professor Manuela's hand? It's like she's pointing at something. I see it, behind that shelf. Could it be a secret passage? What is the meaning of... Wait, is that Manuela? What happened here? We must take her to the infirmary immediately. You, don't just stand there. Help me carry her. Of course. I'll return shortly, Professor. Do you think this is related to Flynn's disappearance? What should we do, Professor? It looks dark. Uh, <laughs> dark in there. You've always been scared of dark places, haven't you, Annie? But don't worry, 
The professor and I will protect you. There are sounds coming from within. If we're going to investigate, now is the time. We'll be okay, I'm sure of it. Are you ready, professor? All right, let's go. What is this place? It's so... Ah! I see someone. I think they're unconscious. Yes, I see Blaine. But who is this other person? Professor, someone's coming from farther in. That sight. Is that the knight who attacked the Holy Mausoleum? That sword. Of course, the hilarious part is that we put the sword of the creator into the convoy the day we got it and haven't used it since. So yeah, for this map you want to split up and you want to make sure that you get both chests uh, one of them has a leaven sword and one of them has a march ring the march ring is the more important one um but ideally you want to get both chests we can't have access to dimitri um so we're just gonna have eight people and we're going to pair up ash and happy as usual all right um let's see the do you need to go to the front Then the mages, then the archers. Oh, whoops. And then Sylvain. Okay. And there are a number of teleport devices over here. Um, just look it up in a walkthrough if you need them. Uh, but these three will lead you to the chests and to a lever that will switch off all the upper tiles, including this tile that the Death Knight is standing on, which gives extra rest. And I think this one will take you right over here so you can rejoin the rest of the group. Anyway, time to save and get to work. <laughs> 